Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to go over how to draw baby Groot. And it's going to be more of like a chibi version of Groot, and he's a small form. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. It's an amazingly influential Marvel movie. And Groot was everywhere for a long time, and more or less still is very, very popular. So go check this video out. Uh, it's really, really short for beginners, right? So if you're a complete beginner, you'll be able to do this and stay to the very end. It's only like a six minute video. At the very end, you'll have this in your art repertoire. So let's jump right in immediately. All right, let's jump into this uh, baby. Well, not, you know, it's kind of like a like a chibi Groot. So, stay all the way to the very end of the video. It's gonna be real simple, and let's get started. I'm gonna go over here, curve underneath, and go up. Right on. Up over here. Down, we're gonna do his like head, top of the head here. Line out. And we go up over here, and a lot of this is you know, disorganized and random, right? It's essentially the top of a tree root, so. Down. Over here. Line, line, over here, circle, for one eye, it's going to be very low on the head, remember that, because you want to make it look more, uh, you know, more chibi, circle here on this side, over here on this, and this, and I'm going to Kind of fill it in here. Curve over here. All right, I'm gonna draw a straight line across for the mouth, like so. Now, I'm gonna be drawing the line out here for the body. The body's real small. Line out line out finger little finger and then um, several other little fingers here right on Going in down uh, over here down okay line across for the pot he's gonna be in down down, we're gonna like line there. Cool, cool. Now we're we'll over here. The hand on this side. I'm gonna curve over here for the finger. Curve over here for the finger. Curve, curve, curve in here. Right on. And now we're gonna the bottom right here. Angle that line down. Let's go over here this side. Angle that line down. And I'm going to pull across right here. Like so. And line over here, line over here, line over here. Very thin lines. And it's going to be kind of like, imagine he's wearing like a striped shirt. But that's a way to get started. But uh, you know, it's really the, the his texture, right? The roots on him. Go over here on this side, line down, line down, line down. Line down here, line here, line here. Line here, 
And these lines have to be thinner because this is the, the tree texture, right, of, of Groot. Just that tree texture. And it all has to be kind of going the same direction, right? Careful, I don't want to make it look like he had too much like his mustache. And there we go. That is it for the most part, okay? So some additions, I'm gonna draw like a line here to make the pot look a little bit more dimensional. Draw a line there and it looks a little bit like a core shadow, right? And you can draw some more lines here. And you can draw as many as you want, by the way. So I was gonna say, for the thin lines, you can draw almost as many as you want. I wouldn't crowd them in here, just so the face looks a little bit, you know, more, I don't know, more contrast, even better without it, but it's up to you. You can totally fill it up if you like, but it has to be thinner. If it's not thinner, it's gonna be kind of bizarre, you know? You want it to be thinner, otherwise it's just not gonna, it's not gonna bode well, you know? Um, it's just gonna attract too much attention if it's not a thinner line, and that's kind of what we wanna focus on. But um, I'll just keep kind of going around, all right. All right, and if you wanna keep learning how to draw and keep pushing your skills, go right here to this video on here, on this side. Um, that video I put because it's the exact same theme as the video you just saw, and it kinda, of, I like it as a bit of a pair. So absolutely go check that out right now, another short video.